Oh yeah, you read that title right. Single exhaust will make more power than dual exhaust. You wanna know why? I'm gonna tell you. Okay, it's a pretty big claim, right? It goes against every logical thing in your head telling you the exact opposite. The thing of it is, is when you really think about it, it makes complete sense on why this would be the case. And I'm going to break it down for you. So stick around, stick through the whole thing, and hopefully you're going to learn something. So why this is true all stems from the same principle collectors work from, okay? The Bernoulli effect. So what happens is all your four tubes come together into a collector. Each pulse out of each tube goes into the collector and thus has a pull on the tubes behind them, right? And that helps draw out the next charge. That's why collectors are so important and having the right length is important because that is helping scavenge all the exhaust out of your header, you know, out of your cylinder. Scavenging. Okay. So we understand that concept, right? I mean, the Bernoulli effect, right? Okay, now let's break it down even further. When you have two dual exhausts that are not connected with each other, what happens is each system has to fight fend for itself, right? It's pushing all the exhaust gases out by, the, by themselves. I mean, your motor is pulsating each side. Okay, so the same principle with this would also apply to this, hence an H-pipe or an X-pipe. Now let me show you some dyno graphs from Engine Masters to prove my concept. So this is a test with an H-pipe versus dual exhaust with no crossover. Notice how much more meat you are getting by connecting the two sides of the engine together. Now what that's doing is it's just like a second collector. Each pulse from each side of the motor is Bernoulli affecting, is helping draw out the pulses from the other side. It's keeping up velocity. So connecting them in the middle helps a lot. But what about instead of connecting it in the middle, you cross it with an X? Well, this is what happens. This is a graph between an X pipe and an H pipe. Notice the X pipe is just a little bit better higher up in the RPM. But why is that? What, like, why is crossing them better, slightly better, than just having a pipe in the middle? And why up at higher RPM of all places? Well, here's why. When you just have a cross in the middle, at higher RPM, the gases are moving so fast, it doesn't have a chance to actually cross over to the other side. So you lose out on that scavenging effect from both pulses pulling each other out. Okay? With an X-pipe, you don't have that issue quite as much because they're forced to intersect each other. So each pulse is forced to intersect the other. That's why it just helps a little bit further up in the RPM because it's continuing that process further up in the RPM. So what does this have to do with dual exhaust versus single exhaust? Well, we've already seen that connecting the two pipes together make power. I mean, it's dyno proven. So you got to think about it like this. When you have an X pipe, essentially you just have a worse Y pipe. Now, what do I mean by that? A Y pipe meaning two into one. Because you are losing pressure in that system with the extra pipe, the extra pipe in the X pipe is not necessary. All you're doing is you are just creating turbulence here and you're creating, you don't know which way the exhaust wants to go out of either one of these pipes. A Y pipe directs the flow into a straight forward, you know, momentum where the X pipe essentially loses pressure. A Y pipe continues the pressure, keeping up velocity. Imagine it like this. Take your collector on your header and just put a hole in it, 
like that. Do you see how that could maybe interrupt the actual scavenging process? Because you have a leak here. That's what an X-pipe is. An X-pipe is a Y-pipe with a leak in it. And let me just prove my claim. This is one of their dyno tests where they tested a dual exhaust versus a single exhaust. This is what they came up with. Look at all the extra meat they have under the curve with the single exhaust. And we already explained why that is. It's because both sides of the engine are helping scavenge each other. It's just doing it more effectively than an H-pipe or an X-pipe does because they're merging together and continuing on a straight path. And it doesn't matter what RPM it's happening at, right? Now there's one other reason why a single exhaust will make more power than a dual exhaust. And it has to really do with friction. Now air sticks to things just like water. You know water, it will stick and it will drip, drip, drip. It will run down and just drip, right? Imagine that. Well, air does the same thing. Air sticks to things. Air, you know, it, it's just like a fluid. So, if you have a dual exhaust, look at how much area you have inside the exhaust pipe. When you have two pipes, you have double the area versus one pipe. Even if you make this pipe, say, this is a two and a half inch pipe, if you made it a three, three and a half inch pipe, the area inside the pipe will still be less than the area inside two two and a half inch pipes. So you have less area for air to stick. Every time the air is stuck, it slows down all the air around it. It's friction. Air is fighting to get through. So less surface area to stick to, more velocity, less frictional losses, more exhaust out your tailpipe. Oh, one other thing too that I just thought of while I'm editing this video. Two, two and a half inch pipes weigh a lot more than one three and a half inch pipe does going all the way back to the end of the car. So you have weight savings there too. Well, that's kind of all there is to it. I mean, deep down we have this prejudice against single exhaust because the first mod we do is turn it into a dual exhaust. Instead of doing that, we should just upgrade the tube size of our single exhaust and make sure it has a nice, smooth Y connection. Okay, well, I hope you got something out of that, and uh, catch you next time.